Hello and welcome to an unusual episode of Phantom Forces Weapon Spotlight, a series where I give a more subdued and informative look on the weapons of Phantom Forces. I usually don't cover secondaries, but in this episode, I'll be covering the Izhevsk PB. The Izhevsk PB, or PB for short, is a pistol unlocked at rank 91. It deals 48 damage up to 20 studs and falls off to 19 damage by 50 studs. It fires at a rather fast 550 RPM with a 1.4 times body multiplier and a 2.1 times head multiplier. The muzzle velocity is 1,800 studs per second and the penetration depth is 0.5 studs. Here is the shot secure table. It's got low recoil and holds 8 rounds in the magazine with 88 rounds in reserve of 9x18mm rounds. The reload speed is 1.7 seconds and the empty reload speed is 2 seconds. It's got a fast 15 walk speed and 18 min speed. The PP is a pretty unique Russian pistol that's kind of taking over the secondary meta right now. It's unique in that it's integrally suppressed which means that you will never appear on the minimap. And it's also unique because of one particularly problematic attachment that I'll talk about soon. So on the surface, the PB looks like your average run-of-the-mill, low magazine size, high fire rate pistol, being able to two-shot kill to the body at close range, but it also has the uncommon ability to one-shot kill to the head at very close ranges of around 20 studs which is about the length of an in-game car. Okay, so the PB is integrally suppressed and it's a bit better than the average pistol, so why is it taking over the meta? Well, let's talk about the elephant in the room, or rather the, the giant thing under the gun. I'm just gonna cover the attachments right now because it basically defines the gun. The PB has potentially the most overpowered attachment out of every secondary in the game. The quote-unquote extended mag attachment raises your pistol's mag size from a small 8 rounds to, oh, uh, you know, 80 with virtually no downsize. Yeah, it's straight up a drop mag. Now, let's back up a little bit. The whole point of the low mag size pistol archetype is that it's a risky backup weapon that can kill people at close range quickly, but if you miss your shots, you gotta reload. This single attachment eliminates the greatest weakness of the archetype, it's the entire point of the archetype, and it's gone for free. It's insane. The only, and I mean only, downside that the drum mag has is that you have no room for reserve ammo, so when you're out of ammo, that's it, no reloading. Is that a problem though? Well, you have to examine the context of when you usually use uh, pistols. It's often reserved as a backup weapon for close to medium ranges where reloading is not a good option. So if you use it like that as a backup weapon, you would be hard pressed to run out of ammo with the 80 round drum mag. The only time where having no reserve ammo would be an issue is if you're running around with it as a main weapon. And even then, you might just straight up die before you can even use up all the ammo. So, in that context, it sort of depends. In conclusion, the PB, by default, is a pretty, like, above average pistol. With the drum mag attachment, it is a top tier meta pistol that can legitimately compete with one shot hand cannons just through sheer volume of fire. And as a final note, the PB also does have a 12 round mag attachment, but you don't really have a reason to use that over the drum mag. And that concludes this episode of Phantom Forces Weapon Spotlight. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.